Okay everyone, so today we are going to learn about the simple distillation. So for simple distillation, you can turn to textbook page 42 to 43. And let's see. Okay, so simple distillation is to separate the pore, the pure solvent, right, from a solution. So a solution is a solid plus a liquid, and the solid needs to be soluble in the liquid. So we are extracting the liquid, which is called the solvent, right, and it's based on their boiling point. So for example, salt solution, right, uh, seawater, sugar solution, all can be used distillation. So distillation is used to make drinking water from uh, seawater, so that's what we call distilled water. And we also use distillation to get uh, ethanol from alcohol, right, to make a stronger alcoholic drinks, right. So how do we set it up? So we have seen this in the lab. So over here we got our thermometer and it should be right next to the condenser. Then we have uh, boiling chips, right, to ensure smooth boiling. Uh, we also have a condenser to provide a to provide a cool surface for condensation to occur. Please remember that the water in as well as the water out, the water must go in from the bottom and then come out from the top. And finally, uh, if the liquid is volatile, meaning that it has a low boiling point, it should be kept in the liquid state by putting this part in ice. Okay, or not, it will just uh, evaporate away. So a common example would be a salt solution, and salt solution contains salt, which is called sodium chloride, as well as water. So sodium chloride has a boiling point of 1413 degrees and water is 100 degrees. So because of the difference in the boiling point, we can use distillation to separate them. So actually distillation is just a process of boiling and condensation. So we first start with uh, inside the distillation flask. So inside the distillation flask, the water will boil and then it becomes water vapor. It rises up and then the thermometer measures the temperature of the vapor, okay, Met the vapor. Then after that, the water vapor goes in a condenser where it meets a cooler environment, and the cooler environment will actually cause it to condense into the distillate, right? And as the distillation occurs, you will notice that the distillation flask will become more and more concentrated. Because the salt remains the same, sodium chloride remains the same, but the water gets lesser. So as the water gets lesser, it gets more concentrated. Like for example, your soup. The more you boil your soup, the saltier it gets. And then finally, the pure water is collected as the distillate. So distillation, right? Uh, the pro what you collect in distillation is called the distillate. So we are not interested in collecting the solids here. We are more interested in collecting the liquids, the distillate over here. So how do you think the temperature graph will look like when I heat up a salt solution from room temperature? Right? So I'm going to heat it up with, uh, with the Bunsen burner and then we have the temperature here and then we have time. So does the temperature graph look like A? When I heat it up, the temperature remains at 25. Or does it look like B? When I heat it up, it increases continuously up as I continue heating up. Or does it look like C? As I heat it up and it continues going down. So let's take a time to answer this. So uh, as what many of you all have guessed, if I heat it up, it should look something like B when it continuously increases. However, the graph doesn't look like that simply. right? The graph actually looks a bit different. It's generally increasing, it's generally growing up, but there's this moment where it remains the same. So what's happening? So firstly, at the beginning, the solution heats up, and then only when it reaches the boiling point of 100 degrees, the water will start boiling. When the water is boiling, right, the temperature remains constant as the, the water is boiling. And as the water is boiling, water is started to be collected as the distillate in the end, the distillate, the collecting flask at the end. So only after all of the water has turned into gas and when there's no more water in the distillation flask, would the temperature right, of the whole setup start increasing again. Okay. So we can see that at the start, there's no distillate, right? Only when the water starts boiling, the volume of the distillate will start increasing. And after that, once the 
water completely boils off, right, the volume of the distillate remains the same. So this is the volume of the distillate in the collecting flask. This is the temperature that the thermometer measures. Right? So what, is, what about the volume in the distillation flask? So the distillation flask will start with a certain volume. And then once the water starts boiling, right, the volume will decrease. So as the volume decreases, the volume of water in the distillation flask decreases. But the amount of salt inside the distillation flask remains the same. So it's getting more and more concentrated over here. And finally, after all the water has uh, boiled off, the volume in the distillation flask remains at zero. So that is a general understanding of simple distillation. So for the next video, we will find out a little more about fractional distillation. Okay, bye.